everyone and welcome to another video today we are going to be taking a look at the first of many videos that we are going to be doing about cloud tifa the advent children collaboration and everything in between of course for those hungry for kadaj and sephiroth details wait uh seriously they are not out for the next uh like they are coming out or staggered over the next couple of weeks so be patient if you are in the market for one of those two Today we have great swords aplenty with the new version of Cloud, and from at least early on impressions, seems like it will be a generally safe bet for anybody who is looking for a new version of one of the most iconic Final Fantasy VII characters. That's right, I said it. All right, so first off, want to show off the limit burst, which is very Advent Children theme. This is one of the highlights of the advent children movie that limit burst is so friggin cool and they do a good job a very good job of replicating it in game so shout outs to the devs and artists who worked on that one to make it look good now as for cloud we're going to bring him in here we're going to put him in a light elemental party and we're going to talk about all the equipment and everything now it's only been about an hour. I've taken a brief look at him. Uh, there aren't any... Um, like, how do I say this? There aren't any real, like, a ton of information or ratings about him yet, obviously, because it hasn't been out that long. So be patient if you're looking for those. All right. So starting off with Cloud's weapon. The new version of the Buster Sword is... Definitely a powerful piece of equipment, but it should be noted that it is basically only for Cloud. It's essentially just a slash attack up 15 greatsword for anybody else. It is three accuracy. It has 208 attack. It is four critical. So there's also going to be two other versions of it out there. But attack is probably, of course, when we talk about all of these weapons, the one you want to go with. Now, the bonuses for cloud are actually quite significant 20 aoe resistance penetration which is really good a starting ap of 20 percent and also if the attack is a wider style attack well guess what you're going to be getting less magic damage and this is just a permanent effect so long as the weapon is equipped Overall, Cloud's Buster Sword goes a long way on Cloud and absolutely nowhere on anyone else, which just means, I guess, canonically that nobody else can wield it. And yeah, that, I, I like that. I actually like that. This is a pretty cool sword. If you've seen Advent Children, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, great weapon for Cloud here. As for stats wise, it is a little bit disingenuous because when we're going to be comparing, actually taking a look at his stats, we do have... Hermes Sandals here, and the plus six version of the Hermes Sandals. So if you're wondering where some of these stats are coming from, especially speed, when looking at comparatively to the other light characters we have in this party, that's a active source. As for the Trust Mastery, Trust Mastery here is a piece of armor, uh, 368 HP, 12 defense, and 10 spirit. Nothing really anything all that special at all. As for this, a four turn effect increases reaction prevention rate and slashing attack power of allies within range for four turns. I do realize that Trust Masteries are starting to, and characters are starting to get the four turn thing as opposed to three turns. I don't know, this TMR just doesn't feel that amazing to me at this point in time. Unless I'm missing something, which could be because I haven't seen a secondary translation. I'm only going on my own and a little bit of technology help so looking at clouds stats as you have seen by now and maybe salivating over let's take a look at another character in the party which is Bart's 109 speed 115 hp and 1800 attack and that looks very similar to what cloud is essentially rocking here cloud is about 12 a hp without a good number of reincarnations or of course, uh, Trust Mastery Stones, which... Yes, Arts does have them. So that is going to be one of the extra sources of stats for him. Uh, 
14 defense, 14 spirit, 44 accuracy, and 46 evasion. None of that is particularly that interesting. 117 speed is a very fast unit. Yes, the Hermes sandals here are boosting up his speed, uh, but that's pretty good with the move of four and still having a single target and an AOE resistance uh, above 30 each, which is really quite nice. And one other thing I would like to state, uh, noting from Tifa's uh, job board, Tifa has a similar style upgraded job board that both Ash in Mont and the Water Joom both have. So both Cloud and Tifa are similar in the sense that their job boards have gotten that push that most other characters do not have, meaning that this is in the higher tier of characters that we are starting to see. Ash and Mont and Water Joom both have been uh, actual like markers of a new power strata for characters and should not be ignored. Taking a look at his resistances, 52% for Slash, so he should put up a good fight against Sephiroth. Again, canonically, great. Uh, also, piercing resistance of 10%, strike resistance of negative 10%, so Tifa beats him. Mm -hmm. Magic of only 15%, but he has enough stuff in his kit that kind of protects him against magic that I'm not too worried about it. And shooting resistance of 13%. Now, both shooting and I believe it is slashing resistance, does get a little bit of a boost from his counter ability. The counter ability here, which I did have uh, the details, basically two damage types, if they are used against Cloud, will be reduced. One of them is shooting, the other is slashing, and that's kind of good for Cloud's overall physical survivability and getting in close and smash opponents. As for the limit burst, well, I've covered it in a previous video. I'll mention it again. It's an effect that increases physical damage herself for three turns, damage to the target after destroying a barrier that reduces physical damage, extra large damage, lowers type chain resistance for three turns, and recovers own AP. Generally, it's pretty good. It's also a single target, so you may be interested to put this in with a character that can remove single target resistance since you will be getting just better damage off of it. But pretty good. Looking at his support skills, we have some interesting stuff that will be hard to remove. So this one down here, very simple. Move plus one, agility up. But it's great. For mobility purposes, this is going to be really fast. You'll be able to keep up with other characters quite nicely. As for this, Increased defense penetration rate and slashing attack resistance penetration rate gives an effect that reduces damage as the attack is wider in range. And it just says damage, so it should work for both physical and magical unless the data calc data proves otherwise later. Overall, Cloud supports uh, Limit Burst and his counter ability all seem pretty good, and I'm pretty happy with uh, as it generally looks. So, taking a look at what we got also, we're going to start looking at his abilities. So this one right here is a very, very short range, and for whatever reason, I don't actually have this. So it's just two consecutive damages. It's nothing really all that special. It has four uses, but if you're looking for chaining, this is where one of the sources where you get it. As for this one, this one's slightly more interesting because it is dealing damage. It's, as you'll note uh, from the icon there, it is mid-tier damage. But the big thing here is that you get a Berserk status effect, which, in a pinch, sure, maybe. I mean, this might actually be worth running if it has a decent chance. We'll have to test that out. Now, looking at abilities... Uh, of course, we have the big ones here. This one, one of the ones that was advertised earlier. After removing all enhancements from a target, deal damage large. Has a pretty large range on it, and it is AoE. Also reduces enhancement rate for three turns. So not only do you remove buffs, you also remove the 
chance that or the ability for the opponent to reinstate buffs as well, which is kind of fun. I generally like that flavoring of a ability to have that kind of thing with it. All right, uh, I'm doing this because I need a little bit more. So it creates a barrier that prevents magical damage for up to a certain amount of HP, increases own attack for four turns, and applies an effect that uh, seals the target's shell removal when an attack hits. This is important because Cloud does have an ability, this one right here, which is the really long, gives the shell effect to allies around yourself for four turns, uh, survive if you take fatal damage. Additional effect, uh, if guts or shell is in effect, single target resistance increases, and before attack, uh, you also re uh, removes protection and reduces physical damage taken for four turns. So this wall of text ability, which does a lot of things, also does shell, so Cloud can also protect the shell. All of this works together into making Cloud you know, very resilient versus physical damage from other sources, but his own abilities to prevent magic damage are actually pretty decent, and he has a good chance of making sure the opponent can't dispel that shell effect either. So, great. Cloud should be pretty good against mages and physical teams alike. Uh, looking here, three turn agility up for himself while also dealing damage not terribly much but maybe a little bit of a speed booster that could be useful for him this ability is also pretty interesting it's large damage and that is you know nice because we do want to kill our target it is single target and after reducing single targets attack resistance deals the damage but also recovers own ap when an enemy is capacitated or when HP is over 50%. So there are actually two clauses to this ability if you're going to use it. First, I mean, it does just essentially power itself up by removing some single target resistance. Single target resistance shred will also be generally pretty good here. But the fact that you are regaining AP from two cases actually is pretty interesting. It doesn't say the amount of AP. I would imagine that it's generally pretty small. But in combination with that and his initial AP, it will keep Cloud going longer and faster. There's some kind of joke in there. Uh, last but not least, we have this ability. This ability was talked about basically has sure hit on it. There's a decent way of dealing with evade style characters. Uh, and just checking my thing here increases own area attack rate resistance penetration rate for three turns reduces physical damage on wider attack uh, the wider the area after canceling the effect uh, deals three damages so again another source of chaining which is generally pretty useful a little bit more flexible since it happens in aoe so you can potentially get multiple opponents and since cloud has some aoe ignore both from his weapon and inside sources, and if you're just partnering him with Joom anyway, who can AoE defense shred, AoE defense should be relatively useless against the combination of him and Joom, looking to be a very strong pair overall. But Cloud, you know, you look at his kit, he has some single target attacks, he has some AoE attacks, I think he and he has some pretty good support skills too, meaning that Cloud is basically what we thought he was going to be. a very well all-rounder account if you have ash and mont you might consider this character if you have Joom, you might sm much strongly more strongly consider this character since they both will work very very well together and great swords have a lot of great beats these already that have been around for a while so have a bunch of them it looks pretty good uh, so yeah, I think my overall impression of Cloud as of right now is generally very, very strong. I think that he will serve new players and old players alike very, very well to their accounts. The only last lingering question to me is whether or not Cloud will truly be able to push back against Sephiroth. I'll have to wait a few more weeks to see that. So stay tuned for some tests coming up. In the near future, what does DPS do? 
See ya.